Hello everyone, welcome back to TV for training. This is Hams. This is the continue of the London Year Assemble. So let me continue. Okay, after we have these constraints created here, I'm going to constrain to make a um, constraint between uh what's let me find it. Uh, this this is screw and the wheel. So the first thing to do is, for example, I'm oh, sorry. I want to make a offset constraint. Let's say we want this screw always be away from this face. Let's say one millimeter. So I'm sorry for that. Let me use the smart move. I want to create coincident constraints in this in this that's okay let me move the screw a little okay and I'm gonna create a offset cons constraint between this face in this phase so we're going to have this pop up it's telling me it's going to be 71.420 millimeters from here to here but I want to be always be one millimeter from here to here so let's press ok and now you can see here Oops, sorry let me press ok it will show you the distance between these two faces and now always this screw is gonna be one millimeter from here to here and it's gonna be always have coincidence on this part okay now I will show you let me add oh let me add this part to here so let me show you here with the smart move, I want to create a coincident constraint between this and this. Alright, and I will show you how to use the snap move. The snap move it means, for example, I want this face need to be at the same level as this one. So you need to click first you need to click on the, um, the part that you want to move and then where you want to attach it for example I want to click here and now you can see it's going to be always aligned with this side but for this case I will create um, it's almost like a offset constraint for example I want to create an offset constraint from this to here but for zero millimeters and it's gonna be a snap it here as you can see but I wanted a one millimeter so let's press ok now now let me create an angle constraint I want to create an angle constraint from this support let me ring I think it's this plane Where is it? Just give me a second. Uh, all right, it's here. And let me bring. These planes too. To create angle constraints, you can choose between axis, axis plane or between edge in this case I'm gonna use the the axis planes so let's create an angle constraints I want to create an angle constraints from mm, ok let's use the, the x the 
y z plane from the support the y z plane from the landing gear okay here is telling me it's a 90 degrees from this plane and this plane if we move I will want to have okay let me delete the constraints just for this sample as you can see it's telling me I'm gonna move 124 degrees from this plane to this plane for I want it to be let me put 90 degrees here that's okay let me delete this I'm gonna create another angle constraint I think it's, it's, it's this one and this one zero degrees okay now let me press cancel sorry coincident constraints between this one and this one and now let me create the angle constraints between this plane and this plane and I wanted it to move right here to be this one be 60 degrees it's okay up oh, sorry minus 60 degrees sorry all right now we have an angle constraint for this part as you can see and we have the coincident constraint and that's it for angle constraints for coincident constraint contact constraints offset constraint angle constraint, fixed component and for example if I don't want these components move anymore you can use the fix together and you choose you can choose from the tree or from here I want this fix, this fix, this fix and this fix this one fix and this one fix just press ok and it's gonna create fix together So if I try to move, for example, this, it's giving you this warning. You are about to move a component involved in fix together. It might modify the fix together definition. Just press OK. So if you move something, we're gonna ask you for an update. Click the update, and it's going back here because it was already fixed on this position. So if you try to move it, when you update your your product, it's going back to the to the fixed position. Um, I hope you understand this. How to use the constraints component and a smart move and a snap move are very helpful to align components and everything. And if you want to hide the constraint, just right click here, hide show, or you can select from the toolbar. You can go to the high view. You can see you can see here all the constraints, all the sketchers, and everything. And I'll let me hide these planes too. just very fast sometimes you need to for example I want to create a constraint between this screw and here but the tire I cannot see very good with the tire so the thing that you can do is just hide the tire you have more view but you can change between the views here I will continue in the next video thank you for watching